In this video, we will use the motion analysis software tracker to measure the change in the velocity of a fist as it successfully breaks a karate board in this video. And as it fails to break a karate board in this video. Open tracker and import the video to be analyzed. Ensure there is an object of known size at the same distance from the camera as the motion to be analysed. Click the icon with a 10, then holding down the shift key, click each end of the object of known length. You can zoom in to make the endpoints more accurate. I have measured the brick to be 23.2 centimetres long. Click the pink axes icon to ensure your x-axis is horizontal. You can click on the icon again to hide the axes. Slide the time head to where you wish to begin analysing the motion. Then right click on the small black triangle on the left to set the start frame. Drag the time head or click through frames until you reach the end of the motion you wish to analyse. And then right click on the black triangle at the right to set the end frame. To analyse the motion, either right click on the screen or under the menu track, select new point mass. Then holding down the shift key, click on the position of the object you wish to track. Here I'm choosing the centre of the fist. By left clicking on the screen you can choose to display different variables. Here we can also choose to display the vertical velocity. However, the default settings in Tracker mean that the velocity is calculated using a number of data points. So this might not be appropriate for collisions which occur over just one or two data points as occur in this video. This process is then repeated for a different video in which the fist does not succeed in breaking the karate board.